Hey guys, Josh, Animal Fact Faker here, and today we're taking our lovely helicopter. Today, my private helicopter. Look at how fancy this road is on our high morning. Just been lovely, mate. And we're taking our helicopter to the middle of Nepal, Mississippi, and we're on this hunt for an animal so fierce, so vicious. It's so disgusting that it would make your mother throw up. Well, this animal, I mentioned it in a previous episode. It's known as Big Joseph. And it, <coughs> it's going, it has a mission to kill every single of the species mantra left. And it has one left, and I already did that. I did an episode on that, and I showed you its features and its stuff like that. Today, we're going to try and catch... Big Joseph, he's as elusive as Bigfoot, and probably way bigger than Bigfoot as well. So, what we're gonna have to do is, I'm gonna have to come, I'm gonna have to parachute out of this really high up helicopter, and we're, cause we're almost there. I'm gonna parachute down, and then we'll meet you guys back when we're at uh, ground zero. So, here we go. Alright guys, we're here in Mississippi finally, and um, we decided to camp, set up a little campsite. So we got a little, we got a little room in here for both me and the cameraman. We we set up next to this nice stream over here, so we'll have some fresh water to make into coffee when we wake up. That we'll heat up with our breath, cause our, our very, very hot breath due to falling in a radioactive pit when I was 12 years old. And uh, so, now I breathe fire, almost. So we can make some coffee with some uh, leaves or something. Or probably some coffee somewhere around here. We are in Mississippi, the coffee ca coffee capital of the world, of course. Anyway, here we are in Mississippi. We're looking for Big Joseph. We haven't had any sightings of him right yet. But we're gonna go to a place where it's been reported that he hangs out a lot. Um, so we're gonna go there in a bit. But uh, for now, Sun's going down, and uh, it's about five o'clock, I think. I think it's time for us to hit, um, you know, hit the hay. So I will see you guys in the morning. Oh. Morning, mates. That was a good night's sleep. I kind of pampered myself. I slept in a little later than I should have. It's 3 a.m. here in Mississippi, and. I'm really tired from the uh, jet lag of flying all the way from my home base, which is in Georgia, all the way to Mississippi. So I'm really jet lagged. So I'm gonna, we're gonna go find some Mississippi coffee trees and I'm gonna make some coffee. So uh, let's go guys, let's find us some coffee. Oh. Look at this guys, I found some coffee, found a coffee tree, see, see the beans, yes, alright, let's. this is how you pick them, you gotta go, alright, cool, oh, I dropped one, it's alright dude, um, it's no big deal, we'll, we'll collect more, alright, oh, get some more right here, alright, alright, I got a, I got a good bit of coffee beans, uh, let's, uh, let's take them back, we'll put them in the, I brought a mug with me, to, just for this occasion, in which I would need some coffee. Ah, oh, back to the base. Oh. All, right, oh. All right, guys, we got some beans here. Um, now, we're gonna have to crush them up, make some coffee grounds, so, uh, let's see. Maybe we can find a rock or something. Let's go, guys. Look over here. Oh. Right. Ah, I don't see any rocks over there, guys. All right, here's the plan. We're gonna cut to a commercial break, and I'm gonna, on the meanwhile, I'm gonna look for a rock in order to grind our coffee beans with. And so, um, I'll see you guys after the break. Hi, I'm Peyton Manning, and this is the All-American Crunchy Peanut Butter. 
It's my favorite to have during games. Oh. Alright guys, we're back and I found the perfect coffee crushing rock. Look at this thing guys. It is the perfect coffee crushing rock. It's like, bang, I can crush some coffee with this mate. Let's uh, go crush our coffee guys. Man. Cool guys, all right. I'm gonna clear out a little coffee crushing spot for us. Um, here, cameraman, can you hand me that uh, wood right there? Thanks, mate. All right, this is a good. This is a good wood, mate. All right. Uh, all right. Let's uh, what do we make? Put some beans on it. All right, I'm gonna crush these beans up now, guys. This is how you grind coffee the old-fashioned way. All right. <clears throat> oh yeah, mates. There we go. I got my coffee ground up now. All right. Just gonna let us put it into my cup now. Just like, oh, there we go, guys. All right, toss that back over there. I got some grounds in my cup, and uh, I'm uh, gonna go grab some water from the stream over here. If I can get to it, there's lots of briars and stuff like that, mate. But I think. It's worth it. Oh, all right. Ah, get out of here. Ah. Christ, my God. Christ. This is... Oh, man. Ah. Ouch, you. Wow, wow, that hurt. It's getting thorned all over the place, mate. Oh. Christ. Ah. Then my calf muscles. Oh. Alright, oh. alright. It's, uh, it's, it's not possible, guys. Oh. I can't get over there, mate. I know there's another stream just up this way. So, let's grab some water for our coffee in it. Or from it. Alright, guys. There's a little uh, freshwater spring right here. We can uh, grab some water from. Oh, Christ. Careful, mate, there's a puddle. Alright, uh, well, right. just gonna grab some water from this nice little spring. Alright, uh, there we go, mate. Uh, good stuff. Alright, let's head back to the. Uh, let's head back to the camp. Some of this coffee at least. Right. Check it out guys, this looks delicious. Look in there. That is some premium coffee right there, guys. So let's get back to that basement. Alright. Crikey, look at that, it's a stick bog, mate. Right? Yeah, I'll put my coffee down. Alright. Crikey, look at this stick bog right here. Man. Look how much it actually looks like a stick. It's like, if, if I weren't an expert on stick bugs, I would know this was actually just, I would think this was a stick, but I know it's a stick bug. All right, let's see if we can detach it from the tree, mates. Ugh, they're very strong. Ugh, I don't want to hurt it, so I've got to be gentle. All right, oh, crikey, Ugh, there we go. Ugh, it's coming off. Oh, this is my friends. There's a Mississippian stink bug. Alright, I'll uh, set it back here on its thing. Alright, mates. Well, I gotta cut to a commercial break. When I'm back, we'll have some coffee, mates. People all around the world are getting addicted to this new drug known as coffee, like this young man here.
If you or a loved one is addicted to coffee, please call the number on your screen. Boys, we're back at the base. Have to sing that amazing stick bug. And uh, I got my coffee here. It's, uh, I got a blow in it to make it super hot. And so here we go. <sighs> All right, mates. This is some hot stuff right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink. Hopefully I don't get any um, horrible diseases from uh, this rock that we found. So here we go. <clears throat> this is some, it's actually pretty good. It has a, uh, has a sort of a fruity flavor to it. So uh, I like it. It's, uh, it's good stuff, mates. All right, guys. Um, now that we're done with our coffee breakfast, we're gonna go and um, we're gonna go get some. We're gonna go look at uh, one of Big Joseph's most well-known hangout spot. So let's go. It's right up here. Um, let's let's see. Okay, it's right up here. Let's uh, make sure he's not around. He'll eat us. And two bites, mate. He's humongous. Uh, let's, uh, let's go. All right. Oh, crikey, look at this. It's a tennis ball. Uh, uh. Anyway. All right. Uh. All right, mate. This up here. Right here. He loves to hang out here. As you can see, it's all, it's been defiled by his presence. It's all green now because he was here. And um, so yeah mates, this is his well, this is a well-known Big Joseph siding area. So um, yeah, he also loves to hang out underneath this tree over here, mates. And all right, while we're here in a Big Joseph area, I'm gonna tell you some stuff about him. First off, he is um, the son of a house cat and Bigfoot. They got married, and he is what resulted. He terrorizes people, and he's on a mission to destroy every single mantra in the world. He's succeeded. He succeeded, except for one mantra is left, and he is in the Josh Fact Faker Zoo. And so, let me tell you guys, it is crazy that I am looking for Big Joseph because he's so elusive. There's been very few spottings, but we know he's real, guys. Um, I'll show you some footage of him that we have from just exploring around one day and we saw him. And, um, but yeah, that's about it for now. I'm gonna go, we're gonna search some other spots around Mississippi in order to find Big Joseph. And we're gonna, once we find him, I'm gonna have to wrestle him to the ground because he's such a menace and we'll stick him in a cage for the rest of his Big Joseph life. So, let's go guys. Hey guys, it's Josh here. Today we've climbed up this mountain here and uh, in order to get a bird's eye view of where we can see Big Joseph. So, um, I was just looking down here. If you want to come over here and look. As you can see, there's not much down there. Here. And so, there's not much use up there. So, let's go over here. Over the peak of this mountain. Oh. So, let's see. Look here, this is where we were previously. Down here is where he loves to chillax, mate. He loves to just hang out under there. I wonder if we can see him, if he's down there. Let's see. Oh, probably. No, he's not there, mate. Um, all right. Well, I don't see him. There's a football over there, though. Weird. Crikey, look at this. This is a beautiful 
swamplands of Mississippi. Yeah, look at that view, mates. Anyway, let's uh, climb down from this mountain now and uh, we'll see you guys at the bottom. All right, guys, we came down from the mountain now and I'm on my lovely four-wheeler and um, we're going through this terrain that's rather rough. Oh, crikey! Look down there, it's a Montreal! It's a slippery little fella. Oh. Oh, Where'd it go? Oh. Stepped in some mud down there. Oh. We lost it, mate. Oh. We should have been sneakier. All right, let's, uh, let's go look over here for it. Hmm. All right, we're going to try and get an interview with this Montreal guy. As it is the last living Montreal, and I know I've uh, I've shown you guys it before, but um, well, I want to show you it again now that we're trying to find the beast that murdered its whole family. So come with me down here, mates. Don't see it anywhere. This is a slippery slope, mate. Oh, God. Oh, crikey, that thorn bush poked me pretty good, mate. Oh. All right. Let's see. Let's get down here. There's a little river boat that I'm going to take to uh, over there, mate. To the other side of this swamp. And then we're going to look for Big Joseph over there. So let's get on the riverboat and I'll see you guys on the other side. So see ya. All right, guys, we're on a lovely a riverboat now and um, we're going through the swamp. And while we're here, I want to show you something that I find very interesting. It's a cat tail. All right, so I'm gonna, there's one right here. Ah, here we go. This is a cat tail, mates. And how these cat tails ended up in the middle of the swamp, I don't know whether like the cats cut off their tails and stuck them on these sticks. I'm not really sure, mates. Like I said in a previous episode, I'm not a plantologist, but it kind of looks like a hot dog to me. Um, not gonna eat it. I just had breakfast, so I'm not really that hungry. Oh crikey, mate! Oh, oh we're we're sinking a bit. Um, all right, it will be fine, mates. Anyway, this is a this is a cattail. They're very interesting species, and it's believed that Big Josephs love them. Ah, here I'll, I'll break it open. Here's an inside view of it for you. I'll toss it back. All right, mates. I'll, uh, we'll be back once we cro finish crossing this swamp in our lovely boat. Um, see you guys next time after this break, all right? Hey guys, Josh here from the Kogobi Boys. I want to talk to you guys about a very pressing matter. All over the world, rock stars are smashing their guitars to pieces. And so, I want to talk to you guys about my new fundraiser, and I ask that you go to my website right now and donate all of your guitars. So, the name of my website is www.givejoshallyourguitarsinstead-of-smashing-them.com because I need guitars and for you not to smash them and to give them to me because then I can smash them. Thank you. Hey guys, we're out here. We're on our search for Big Joseph, and it's taken us all the way to Nepal, Canada. All right, guys, we're out here on the beautiful Mount Everest, Fiji, and um, Big Joseph was spotted here having tea with his great uncle, the Yeti. And so we found some tracks over this way, so we're going to go check those out. We'll show them to you. Let's go, mate.
right. This is my own, this is only the second time I've been up in Nepal. Let me tell you, I don't know what all this white stuff is. We definitely do not get it in New Zealand. All right, let's see. Oh, here we go, come look at this. All right. You see these right here? These are your common bobcat tracks. And then if you look right here, this is a big Joseph track. Can you see the difference in the two? It's crazy, mate. And if you follow them up this way, you just keep on going. See how they all go and they lead right there. There's one spot in the thing. And so I'm convinced that underneath these leaves, there is a big Joseph underground system that connects underneath where we're standing right now and there's caves and that is where Big Joseph lives. But anyway, it's all the time we have for here. In Nepal, we gotta get back before they find out we're here because our cameraman isn't allowed in Nepal after he killed at least 13 people. So, we gotta get out of here. So, I'll see you guys later. We were, uh, we stayed the night up on the mountain and then we came down. We've been searching for Big Joseph. And then we heard a big ruckus. And apparently there was a sighting of him. So over here, there's an eyewitness. So let's go interview her about, uh, Big Joseph, alright? Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh. He went back over there where he was yesterday towards the front of the park. I don't even know who that was. Alright, here is an eyewitness on the account. How does uh, Big Joseph make you feel being in this community? No, uh, yes, of course. Alright, um, tell me, how large exactly was he? About 12,000 tons. Oh wow, that's crazy, mate. Um, oh, all right, man. I'll let you go now. Um, I'm sure you have like mice to eat and things to poop on, so I'll see you later. All right, um, we're gonna start walking this way and uh, see if we spot him, all right? guys um, we got in the Jeep and we're gonna look for him we heard from that strange manatee earlier that uh, it's somewhere over here so it's a park and uh, let's go put the emergency brake on you don't want to roll the Jeep away all right so wow wow Whoa, my door almost flew away. All right, so I'll talk to you guys on top of the Jeep. All right, so. Let me go by Big Joseph for sure. He's somewhere around here. Um, but yeah, when we find him, we need to be very, very careful because he could um, kill us, especially our tiny Asian cameraman. All right, so we have to be very careful. But first, I want you to come over here and be very, very careful. Come look at this. If you look at these flowers right here, at first they appear to be normal flowers, but they're actually man-eating flowers. They seem too small to eat a whole man. But let me tell you, they, they have a big appetite, mate. If, they, if you get their, your finger in here like this, um, yeah, if you get your finger in here, they'll just start nibbling and nibbling and nibbling until you're all gone. It's crazy. Yeah, see, look at this. 
I have a couple scars from encounters with these things. Anyway, all right, let's uh, sneak around. I, I feel like he may be in the woods back here. So let's go find him. Hi guys. All right, we're in the woods now. Looking for where we think Big Joseph might be. There's been many eyewitness accounts of seeing him fleeing into these woods. So, uh, we came in here. We don't see him, though. Um, however, if you come look at this, right here. I found this hole. And what I think this may be is a rabbit hole. However, Big Joseph may have been able to squeeze in there because it's like a cockroach, because he's so disgusting. And so he may and may not be in here. So I'm gonna poke a stick down here. That's, that's a better stick. See what happens if I get eaten by some large bunny. It's not my fault. All right. Well, it seems like nobody's home. Um, all right, take this stick out. Well, I guess we'll keep on searching for him back here for a bit. See if there's any more spottings. Let's go. Hey guys, all right, there's been a spotting of uh, Big Joseph, right? Then some big wildebeest came and yelled at it and flashed its light at it and scared it away. So it was this way. What we're gonna do though is we're gonna go all the way around this strange mountain right behind us and we're gonna go and uh, look for it, all right? So come on. All right guys, we found this weird tree and I'm gonna climb up to see if I can see him from anywhere. I don't see him, mate. No, I'll sight of him. Alright. Hey, guys. Alright, we've climbed up this mountain again to see if we can spot him. Alright. I can't see him anywhere. But first, I just want to show you this. If you look up in the sky, look at the moon. It, uh, I've, I've noticed something in my studying of Big Joseph. Every time he spotted. There is a um, waxing, um, I forget the terminology, but almost full moon, a third quarter moon like that one right there. And so, <coughs> what this means is he may or may not be a were demon, which is like half Bigfoot cat thing, half Satan. But anyway, we climbed up this mountain to see if we can get a view of him, or if he's even up here. So, uh, let's go and look. Okay. Hey guys, um, we've searched the mountain and we can't find him anywhere. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to hike back down the mountain and then we're going to go search for him. Alright. Until we find him. I will not stop until Big Joseph is found. Uh, so yeah, let's go climb down this mountain, see if we can find him. Hey guys, Big Joseph is right around the corner. He's right there. Crikey. He's huge. Come on, guys. There he is, there he is. 
right there. Look at how slow he is. Crikey, let's go after him. Oh, mate. He's tricked us. There's thorns everywhere right here. And I don't wear shoes for some reason. Neither is our cameraman. Crikey. All right. Come on, guys. It's worth it. Oh. Is it worth it? Let's go. Oh. oh, no. I don't see him. All right, guys. Our cameraman. Just died. I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna hunt him down. I don't see him anywhere. Alright. Well. Alright, guys. We're gonna head on back. I don't see him anywhere. I'm gonna keep searching for him, though. See you later. Hey guys, Josh, Animal Fact Faker. Today I have some good friends coming in to play a song they wrote about Big Joseph. They're called the Cocoa Bean Boys. Well, here we go. Hello, we are the Coca Bin Boys. Big Joseph, he's bigger than any cat, he's bigger than your mom, he's bigger than any rat, he's bigger than Vietnam. Yes. Yeah. 